Hi and welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I'm going to be talking about the importance of expressing your true feelings in relationships. I had a couple come to me once that had been arguing for over 10 months, going to marriage counselling for a disagreement over golf, would you believe? So the husband was playing golf on the weekends and his wife said that she felt that golf was a waste of time, that it was a stupid sport, it doesn't involve much physical exercise, that people that play golf are stupid because they're so up themselves and they have their own clothing that they wear and that she thought it was a load of rubbish. He would then defend golf, defend his friends, argue back, and then he would say to her that he thought that her Pilates was stupid and a waste of time. And so they were arguing over sports, basically. And they'd gone to see a local marriage counsellor who would have them sit down and they would actually, in front of this counsellor, repeat the discussion that they had at home, complete waste of time and money and investment. And it was all revolved around how they didn't like what each other were doing with their leisure time. And when they came to me for the first time, straight away I realized this has absolutely nothing to do with golf. And the problem was, is that they weren't expressing their true feelings. They weren't really expressing what they were feeling deep down inside. And so I said to her, what are you really feeling? What is really going on here? Because it's got nothing to do with golf. And just sort of, was that mirror to her? And she automatically said, yes, you're right. I'm feeling neglected. I'm feeling that he doesn't want to spend time with me, that he no longer loves me anymore. I'm worried about money because a few times he said, watch the budget or don't spend this on the children's classes and swimming lessons. And I'm wondering if we're in a, a difficult situation, then why is he playing golf? And again, is that a sign that he doesn't love me and he's not committed to the family? And when he heard this, he automatically melted and became very soft and started to express his true feelings. And he shared with her, you know, I'm so sorry. I am a bit stressed about money, but I'm getting these golf sessions for free it's for my business development and I'm doing everything I can and when you think that I'm having a jolly every weekend actually I'm really working in on the golf course and I'm actually trying to do my best and that our finances are fine it's just me stressing because I want to give you the world and also I felt that because you are stressed with me that I was doing you a favor by getting out of your hair on the weekends. I feel like I'm doing everything wrong. I feel like I'm treading on eggshells. And so when they started to open and share how they were really feeling, they were able to come together. They were able to get resolution. They were able to make their relationship stronger. And then from that point, we were able to look at the steps to become closer, to have more balance in the weekends, to start doing things together, to change the walking on eggshells, to change their communication. One of the things I love to take couples through is the 18 principles of successful communication, because we can all communicate when things are going well, but when we're feeling triggered, angry, hurt, upset, things can come out wrong, or we can create more explosions in each other by saying things in a way that harms a relationship or by not expressing our true feelings and by attacking golf or attacking Pilates, which really is just a surface level conversation for deeper things. So if this is resonating with you, then you can start to ask yourself, what am I really feeling? and then start to sharing what you are feeling and making sure that you create that safe environment. That's definitely what I do for couples that I work with online or that come to Dubai to work with me. It's setting a safe place where you're not distracted by phones or TV, where you can listen to each other, where you're feeling open to take on 
any feedback on your behavior. And when you create this safe place, when you really listen to each other without attacking, this is where you can really strengthen your relationship and take it to the next level. If you have any questions on this, or if you'd like to find out working with me, then you can visit my website, nicolabeer.com. I offer a free 20 minute call with me where we can discuss steps to help you move forward if that's of interest. And if you would like to learn more tips on communication in relationships, then do subscribe to the show because I have plenty more coming up for you. Thanks for watching.